Ah, what a cool road trip that was. Right? Joining me this morning was Onion. And we had a fun little mosaic trip. Yes, we had an extreme. Yeah, it was fun. So, we're gonna show you exactly what we got up to this morning. Join us, it's quite a ride. Okay. We're going to our first Soviet mosaic. Okay, and let's. So, we're going. Which one is it? Okay, so we're going to this one, the first one. Okay, let's get out of here. Lots of koi, hey? It's beautiful. We can actually go get a close up on the mosaic. There you go, bold and bankrupt. Shout out. Okay. So now to the next site. So the logical one would be the mosaic with dolphins. This is it's that one. Is it? Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, okay. it's a different Let's one. Go. Okay, so we're gonna do that one. It's 170 oh. meters around the corner. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Found it. Yay, we found it. Okay. So it's right next to the park. We missed this one all this time. How to interpret this? So there's fish, some dolphins. Because Poseidon is the god of the sea. He's the god of the sea. And we're at the dolphinarium. We're at the dolphinarium. <laughs> so. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> oh, that's Close the Poseidon it. one. Oh, this so is also which, Poseidon. Uh, so this is where everyone comes to hang for the day. Whether you've got a job or not, you'll just come and hang here. Yeah. Yeah, well it is effectively the most beautiful day since we've been here. Yes. It's warm, it's... It's the warmest day. Yeah.
go. So this is the mosaic we've been looking for, Poseidon. So onwards to New Neptune we go. So um, I think we'll just walk through it. So what did you think about the mosaic? Or was it cool? It was very hidden and it's it was. Yeah, behind that block of flats as well, nonetheless. Yeah. It's the entrance wall to a block of flats. Yeah. So. But a lot of these mosaics seem to be like that, so... Poseidon's mosaic. Okay, so here we've got the Neptune sculpture. Neptune's sculpture in Batumi is a captivating masterpiece, depicting the ancient Roman god of the sea in a majestic pose, standing tall against the backdrop of the Black Sea. The sculpture mesmerizes visitors with its intricate details and imposing presence, serving as a symbol of maritime heritage and beauty. Pretty cool, nonetheless. It's really cool. It's surprising how many places in Batumi you can just come and sit down and be peaceful. Yeah. Every part was peaceful. Every sculpture was peaceful. Now you can see why I wear my helmet cam so much. It's because it's just a lot easier than carrying around your scooter, basically. <laughs> this beautiful tree. Again, it's in a building by an entrance. There we go. We're not gonna go in, but that's it. That's pretty cool, though. It's pretty cool. It's a dolphin with an umbrella in the ocean. Yeah, I guess it's a dolphin in the ocean. No surprises there, but it's yeah. got an umbrella. It's got an umbrella, that's the surprising part. <laughs> Pretty cool though. And it's super Soviet. It is. So, we're going to our final Soviet mosaic. Yes. And then we're gonna try this new cafe that I've been dying to try since we started looking at coming to Batumi and looking at all of the maps. Okay. So, I've had this one on my agenda for quite a few weeks now. So, let's go. Okay, okay cool. the back streets of Batumi, of uh, Europe Square basically. Still really pretty though. Apollo Cinema. An old Soviet cinema. Is this oh. we just is this a bonus mosaic? These are bonus mosaics in Europe's group. Yes. So this is a so this is a bonus mosaic that they're, we didn't expect to see. They're keeping with the theme of the golden piece. Which ah, the golden piece. Which is yes. why they've got golden mosaic pieces. But these are bonus mosaics. We didn't expect to see these, so these are they're quite cool. So what we really came here for was that statue. So the statue of Medea in Batumi is a poignant representation of the city's mythological and cultural legacy, depicting the tragic figure from Greek mythology. The statue evokes a sense of mystery and intrigue, inviting contemplation on themes of love, betrayal, and redemption. 
It stands as a captivating landmark in Batumi's landscape. <laughs> okay, onwards we go. Don't over schedule. Don't over schedule. Is that a pro travel tip? Yes, it is. It's an Anya pro travel tip. Because we only plan to see like five mosaics today. We've already seen like three extra and some statues. That seems to happen every time that you schedule. Every single every time. time you, you do a itinerary day. We just have so much more that we end up doing. You end up doing a lot of different things, and this is why you cannot stick to an itinerary in a city like this. No, you can't. But it helps to get a direction. It, yes. So, because you have to have a direction. You, a direction, you need it. But if you see a few things along the way, you need a destination to your journey. Yes. Our favorite cafe, the Sveni Sachli Cafe, and we've enjoyed many good khachapuris yes, there. It's tempting because it looks, it actually looks really inviting to sit outside today because it's really warm today. Yes, but we've got an agenda to follow. This is one lie. Yes, because you've had your cafe days so many I times. have. I've had many of them. It's funny, in this town that is full of tourists and, you know, just people from all over the world. And we're the ones that stick out because we've got private scooters. Yes. We've got a helmet bolted to my head with a camera. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone keeps looking at me every single time. It never fails. <laughs> you need that perfume. That's a nice perfume. I have no idea, but it's really good. Did you like that? Georgian cuisine? One la. Here it is. Do you want to sit here? What do you want to do? So we've arrived at one lorry. We have forgotten the best. Amazing. Uh, Anya's gonna go in. She's gonna order us a few things. Yes. Is this lunch? It could be. A fun. Um, one cappuccino, one So I've just gone to order. We're just waiting for them to prepare them. Okay. Cool. The one lari food has come. Yes, it has. Okay, hold on. Okay. Let me hold this. Yes. Let me hold this. Let me hold this. If I can hold that one. I'll just get the coffee quick. Look at that. Just let me just get this in. Serviette. There we go. 
This is gonna melt quick. Okay, so to explain this, uh, the pancake is one lorry. Yes, and the filling is half a lorry. The filling is half a lorry. So basically each of these were 1.5 yes. lorries. Yes. And then the cappuccino was four lorry for the big uh, one. I think six lorries. Six lorry for the big one. Let's, Let's enjoy. Eat. Let's enjoy. Let me just drop the serviette because it's getting a little bit complicated. Let's try it together. Mm. Mm. I quite like it. It's a quick snap. It's a snap. We watched her make them, so they came really, really fresh out of, out of the pan. And there's honey? Yes, there's honey in it as well. <laughs> it's the first time that we're actually sitting somewhere eating a sort of a street food almost. Mm. Although it's a shop. It's a very it's still... tiny shop. Yeah. I saw this one as our dessert. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. That cappuccino is probably the best one I've had. Really? Yeah. Why not? Taste your cappuccino. And it's not overly strong. must come here one day. Ah, are we gonna go in here?
around here. Do you want to go up there? Jellyfish, I don't know if you can see them. There's so many. There's a lot of jellyfish eh? yes, constantly. The moon jellyfish. The moon jellyfish. Yes, the moon. The big boat, Achtiar. It's not a massive boat, but it's a big boat. Can you see the jellies? Tugboat going out. You think they're fetching a ship? Yes. Let's get out of here. I want to show you something, come. No, not that. Come, look here. Did you know that lighthouse up there? Yeah. Uh, was built in 1882. 1880s. That, really? Yes. Did you know that the letters on that tower signifies the alphabet of the Georgian dialect? Yes. And each one of those letters are four meters high. I did not know that. You did not know that? No. So they're like... Something that I found out that you didn't know of yes but something else you didn't know of because we've been here a few times if you read it's actually called the cha-cha fountain I've read about this not very in depth but I've read about it I don't know where the cha-cha fountain thing comes from unless I just fill it with water and call it cha-cha and call it cha-cha why would they do that because actual cha-cha would vanish with the and it would be very expensive just to fill up one of these. 
Spoken like a true person who knows I'm gonna, a, I'm gonna pull up a quick tidbit about this tower. The Cha Cha Tower is a clock tower located in Batumi, Georgia. It was built in 2012 by the council with a cost of 1 million Georgian lorries. That's about about $300,000. Okay, the tower is 25 meters high and has four fountains. It is a replica of the clock tower in Izmir, Turkey. Cha Cha comes out of the fountains of the tower instead of water. Hey! So, there we go. The tower hosts a tourism information center. So, the fountains has water and then this is where I'm assuming they'll put the Cha Cha and then you'll dispense water out of here. Obviously, they've taken out the coin system or something like that. It's pretty cool though. I didn't know there was so much about this. I have no idea how they would control the Chacha. So we have arrived. Our last Soviet mosaic. mosaic. <laughs> Would you like to see it? It's it pretty cool. It isn't as old as the other ones. It's not. But it still is Soviet. It's it very Dutch. Soviet. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. Would you it's, like to see it? It's the coolest one by far because it's not okay. just a mosaic. It's a sculpture. It's a well. sculpture. Slash building. Slash That's what it is. That's what it is. So let's look at the beauty that is the octopus sculpture.
We've had some really awful spar experiences. Spar is a supermarket in Georgia. Okay, they're just everywhere across the world. Okay, spar is sucked. This one looks a bit more posh. Let's see if we can go in here and actually be happy. It's connected to the Hilton Hotel. So oh, it's to connected see. to the Hilton. It is. That's why the logo is black and white and not the normal green and red. We've had one good one in Sihnagi. Looks a bit better in here. It There's actually does. No, actually, it's going to be honest. There's a lot more options. Okay, so we just went into the spa. Yes. We've gotten caught a few times uh, and uh, we it just got charged 28 lari for Coke, two chocolate, candy, candy and, and a milk. A milk. So 28 lari is a lot. It's uh, yeah. So we noticed it on the slip. We went back in and they gave us a refund. So they gave us a change in cash, which is great. That's fine. Immediately noticing that they overcharged us, but I have no idea. <laughs> this happens so much here. And you have I to watch think... yourself. I do think it happens a lot and I do think some people don't take it that easily as this woman did. Yeah, she she, she was quite apologetic about it. So maybe she did actually just make a, make a mistake, but it does happen a lot here. For us. But okay, this is the end of our trip. Yes. This is where we call it quits. We it was a fun mosaics. day. We were probably out for an hour longer than we thought we would be. Hence. Do not stick to your itinerary too much. Do not stick to your itinerary. <laughs> but it was a really cool day. We re really had fun. We had a lot of fun. We did a few more things that we thought we did. So it was fun. It was and fun. Thank you. out. <laughs> Thank you and see you next time. Thank you.